Hey Superstars, welcome back to one of my Through the Mail autograph videos where I doodle a player and bug him for an autograph. This one is part of Caleb's Junk Wax Challenge where he sent a bunch of us TTMers a pack of 1986 Topps cards and we were tasked with getting as many autographs out of the pack as we can. So today's lucky victim is Mr. Bruce Suter. If you're keeping score, this is number two for me from this pack. The first one was Jeff Reardon, so I got lucky with the Super Relievers pack. Mr. Suter here is best known for his nasty split finger fastball and has many, many accolades, including six all star appearances, 300 saves, a Cy Young Award, and he's a Hall of Famer. It is said his mastery of the splitter came from his super long fingernails, which were also good for picking his nose from long distances, according to an ESPN article I just read. Without sports right now, ESPN is making up all sorts of nonsense, but ESPN's got nothing on me. Bruce Suter, or Master Splitter as his friends called him, was well known for being very fond of his baby pet turtles. You can only imagine where this one is going. He had Leo Mazzoni, Mike Musina, Don Sutton, and Raleigh Fingers. In the winter of 1973, Master Splitter was scheduled to have elbow surgery but couldn't find a turtle sitter, so he had to sneak his turtles into the hospital with him. Wouldn't you know it, during the surgery, those turtles escaped and wound up frolicking around in radioactive bio-waste, as turtles are obviously known to do. That spring, as Bruce was preparing for the upcoming baseball season, those turtles miraculously transformed into teenagers. Not just any teenagers, we're talking teenage mutant baseball playing turtles. Master Splitter taught those turtles everything he knew about pitching. They couldn't all throw splitters, obviously, because turtles don't have long nose picking fingers. Leo became a great pitching coach. Mike was just very consistent. Don was flashier, but a workhorse. And Raleigh was most like his master, a nasty reliever, but he threw a sinker ball. And you may be saying, wait a minute, Scott, those guys all played at different times. Raleigh wasn't a turtle name. None of this makes any sense. And I'd say you're absolutely right. But remember, turtles are mischievous. They stole Jeff Reardon's time machine shortly after Skynet sent him back to 1979 to destroy John Connor. That's where Turtles in Time came from. And after Bruce Suter had his surgery, he was afraid the Cubs were going to cut him. So he sold his story to a couple of comic book nerds who took some ridiculous liberties. There's my doodle and that 1986 Topps card. I also threw in five bucks because I wasn't sure if he required a donation or not. Custom sticker and off to the mailbox. Let's see what we got. Master Splitter did not want my money. Sweet, he signed the card. Another point for Reindeer Studios. He kept the doodle, which is perfectly cool. Thank you so very much, Mr. Suter. This one is radical, bodacious, bossa nova. Bossa nova? Chevy Nova? And thank you for watching. Like, comment, subscribe, yada, yada, yada. Stay safe out there, friends. Turtle power.